hi viewers welcome back CAD designs now in this video I'll tell you how to design this uh, drill bit model this drawing sheet link is available on the description box you can download from there if you download this drawing sheet then you can continue this video now let's get started now see when you observe this drawing sheet here we have few views uh, one is front view left side view section view isometric view and top view this one now when you observe this uh, front view here we have you understand what's the height of this uh, drill bit the next what's the diameter okay now that's diameter is 6 and that's total height is 80 now here we have one sharp edge that is with chamfer 3 into 45 degrees and here we have one grip is showing that is 18 height the next that shape is like this here we have uh, we need to maintain some smooth curve with the two radius okay this is the shape of this cutting this uh, gripping okay now first of all i am going to create this cylinder part see what the cylinder part this diameter is 6 and next total height is 80 first create that cylinder okay now i am going to create the model go to uh, this uh, catia software go to start mechanical design part design I am choosing part design here because it is a single part okay now here we need to create one sketch on this base plane okay I am choosing this base plane because I am going to create that drill bit in vertical position okay go to sketch and select your requirement plane I am choosing this top plane okay then next select tool that is circle I am going to create one circle here that is a 6 diameter already know so I am choosing 6 diameter here okay after that exit and specify your requirement height now i'm going to choose pad feature for this to add material now that i that height is showing 20 here now i want to maintain 80 distance height okay so this is a little bit height then next one uh, after that what's the work here observe this drawing sheet the total height is okay 60 so 6 diameter and 80 and after that we need to create this gripping that is 18 height okay the next that shape is like this with 2 mm uh, 2 radius and when you observe from this top view you will get underst uh, you understand uh, what the shape of this that is a rectangle shape one is 1 into that uh, rectangle size is 1 into 10 so di directly you can create that rectangle from this top face okay i'm choosing top face here because uh, the profile is like that go to sketch and select your requirement plane face now i am choosing this top face okay here we need to create that sketch now that view is little bit rotated if you want to take normal view just click on this normal view okay here i am i am choosing this uh, centered rectangle feature because we need to maintain that rectangle from this axis we need to maintain center so that's why so specify your requirement size that is 1 into uh, 10 okay this one is 10 and vertical value is 1 okay then exit then after that specify height of this uh, gripping okay now again i'm choosing pad feature now here it is showing, uh, showing top side i'm choosing reverse direction and this value is 18 the next is a preview the next okay okay now here that shape is finished then after that actually that shape is not exactly uh, like a rectangle here we have some smooth curves also okay so what is that smooth curve value that is 2 mm radius so just you can apply the 2 mm radius uh, for this smooth curves now here i am choosing edge fillet option inside of this dress up features okay select the tool and select that all edges okay these four edges required to create that shape uh, that uh, smooth curve we need to create here now so that's why I'm, che I'm selecting this all edges okay the next one special requirement value here we need to maintain two okay now that grip is created then after that again observe this uh, top view see here we have not only exactly rectangle shape here we have one smooth curve also that is one okay it means 
for this four edges four sides these four edges we need to maintain some smooth curve here that is one okay again i'm going to create that edge fillet select that edge fillet tool and select that all four edges this one this one and next same these two things okay after select this all and specify requirement radius one okay now see that grip is generated okay then after that we need to maintain some uh, sharp sharp edge na, on this top face uh, top of this uh, drill bit here here we need to maintain 3 into 45 degrees angle chamfer so it means angle method okay so again i'm going to create the chamfer here on this edge okay see go to that uh, chamfer tool now here we have two options one is length and length and one is length and angle now here i'm choosing length and angle method because our input is like that okay so 3 45 degrees select this your comment edge the next see the preview that chamfer is working like this okay now here you are getting this sharp edge okay the next one we need to create that helix path see once observe this helix path here we need to create two types of helix see one is this side one is this side so we need to create two helix after that we need to remove that uh, material uh, with the help of uh, 4 mm diameter circle okay that is this helix part so what i am saying uh, to create that helix a uh, few values is required that is pitch and height we need to maintain pitch value 25 and next height value 60 okay we need to maintain like that okay now i am going to create that helix path to remove this material okay okay you now see if you want to use that helix tool compulsory we need to enter into uh, this uh, surface design uh, wireframes and surface design workbench but i am not going there because i am choosing command method okay if you want to use that helix with command method directly go to this dialog box this command box and choose command here so that command is c colon helix so this is the command for helix tool enter after that you are getting this helix uh, helix feature okay then here it is asking starting point and axis now there is no any starting point here so first of all i am going to create one starting point before doing this helix path okay so if you want to create any points go to reference elements here we have point option from here choose point and choose your requirement method where you want to create point actually if you want to create that helix path on this uh, exact surface of this cylinder uh, we need to maintain same position so it means this diameter already you know that is 6 from this center to that value is 3 mm so here i am choosing 3 see the preview one point is created here from the center to 3 mm horizontal direction that is x direction okay then after that we have one starting point now it is possible to create helix path now again go to helix tool with this with this command c colon helix enter then after that here it is asking starting point right now we have starting point select the starting point and axis so axis means we need to create that helix in this vertical direction it means that is z axis z, uh, z direction so directly you can choose axis z okay actually this uh, uh, cylinder also we created exactly origin point location so no need to uh, specify any line so directly you can choose from here just rightly choose z axis okay now here we have that helix path is showing like this but we need to maintain some height right so that is 60 mm okay already you know what's the height of this drill width that is total 80 now i'm to i'm uh, i'm removing this 20 mm length okay for this gripping the next one that pitch is showing like this i don't want this pitch okay so just increase this value now here i'm choosing 25 when you choose 25 that uh, uh, that helix path is adjusted like this here i'm choosing 25 height is 40 sorry 60 okay then next okay then after that 
we created one path so what's the work here we need to remove material along to this path with the help of circle for a circle profile okay so what is the circle diameter circle circle it means uh, uh, we need, uh, this is a remove material along to this path so this circle nothing but it is a uh, profile for remove material okay so first if i want to create any circle profile here first of all we need to create one uh, plane so create one plane here first go to planes and choose your requirement method i want to create one plane at the point of this uh, end point of this curve okay so here i am choosing normal to curve method so this is the best method for that now here i am choosing curve then after that choose starting point this is the starting point so that is a uh, plane location now then next okay now here we created one plane at the end point of this curve okay then next create one sketch on this curve okay on this uh, plane okay now here we are going to create one uh, profile i'm choosing normal view okay create the circle profile here at the end point of this uh, uh, curve okay so the diameter is we need to maintain 4 mm so specify 4 mm diameter then next that is a profile but we need to maintain this circle at exact position okay now this is not exact position right so if i want to coincidence these two points one is circle center one is uh, arc and arc end point okay select the two points with the use of control uh, then next go to dialog box apply coincidence constraint okay now it is okay that is a circle diameter 4 that is we created at the end point of that curve okay then next now here we have two profiles one is path one is profile now we need to remove material with this sketch okay or uh, this circle sketch if i want to remove material directly can choose slot option okay slot option nothing but it is helpful for to remove uh, to remove material along to path so that is a uh, work function okay so select the tool and profile so this is a profile and select that curve this is the curve okay once see the preview you are getting results like this okay that uh, the path is uh, removed okay that material is removed like this then next okay okay then next what is the work here only one helix path is finished we need to create second helix path also okay into this second direction okay so second direction it means previously we created this uh, this point in that x axis side okay this one is positive side we used again we need to create the starting point for our second helix uh, that is in uh, second direction side second direction side nothing but uh, negative side x negative side okay now before do, uh, before doing that helix path again i am going to create one starting point for that so see once i've got this drawing sheet here we have two helix right now what first helix is finished then next again i'm going to create second helix path okay for that second remove material okay remove material okay <coughs> sorry see the next one again i'm going to create one another point with the help of this point feature okay now this one is positive value now here i'm choosing negative value minus three and next okay okay here we have one another point from here again i'm going to create helix path okay so if i want to create helix path just use this command that is c colon helix enter the next choose starting point this one is the starting point right and next axis this is the axis it means directly can choose z axis and next here also we need to maintain same pitch and same height so that is 25 pitch value and next height is 60 okay that second path also generated okay then after that we need to uh, apply remove material here but before that one first of all you need to create one circle where that circle position is exactly end point of this curve but before that we don't have any plane so first create one plane 
so again i'm choosing normal decorum method which is we created previously now same again i'm creating like that this one is a karu uh, and this one is a end point okay now one plane is created again you can create that profile on this plane okay here we need to create another sketch sorry here again i'm choosing normal view okay this one is same that is also same uh, 4 mm diameter the next one we need to maintain exact position right so apply coincidence constraint okay then after that exit now here we created second sketch that is also same circle now again we, we are applying that uh, slot tool okay to remove material along to this path okay choose this slot tool and profile is this cycle and curve is this one now see the preview that remove it release working like this the next okay now see once observe the model that drill bit is showing like this when you see from this downside that profile is showing like this okay as per this top view okay now we created this threadings okay these two things is finished okay then what's the work here 45 degrees and uh, these things and uh, helix parts and remove materials all also finished so no need to create any other things i think okay done so this is a procedure to create the model okay this drill bit model then after the refund to hide these planes just select this all planes and hide it by using this hide option okay now this one is a drill bit model if you like this video do subscribe our channel and don't forget to activate bell icon and if you want to more practice drawings like this follow our website links from the description box thank you